Welcome to DIY or Die, your last stop for vaping and doing it yourself. My name is Wayne, and this is my pool. One of my favorite treats in the summer is an orange creamsicle. I mean, the citrus, it's brought down by the creaminess of the vanilla and the creams. It's just a really great summertime treat. And I got a recipe for you, so you can vape something like this in your mouth, into your lungs. It's delicious. Sometimes the way I get inspiration is I eat something and I taste it and I try to get all the notes of it. Something like this is very simple. You just taste orange, cream, vanilla, ice. Um, something like this is very simple. So maybe like you're first mandarin. starting out, but it's really just orange, cream, dairy. Something like this is very simple. So when you're first starting out, you want to find something that in, that you enjoy, but that it has simple flavor notes to it. You know, it, it's not very complex, there's not many layers to it. It's just real nice, delicious treat. And that's the kind of vapes that you want to produce on your own once you start mixing by yourself. So, let's go inside and um, start mixing. It's too fucking hot out here. So the very, 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 very first thing you want to do before you mix is bring up your recipe that you are ready to do. Now the way you're going to bring up your recipe is you're going to find one online or you're going to have one that you've made up. You're going to download a program called eJuice Me Up. Um, that's probably the best one out right now. Hot Rod from ECF has a really great calculator as well. It's just, uh, eJuice Me Up is just a little more easier to use as a beginner. Type in the percentages of your flavorings down below. You'll see them. And then you want to go up to the top where it shows you the nicotine. Now you're going to type in the concentration of your nicotine. You're going to type in either if it's 100% VG, or if it's 100% PG, or if it's 50-50. You're going to type in your target nicotine right underneath that. And then you're going to type in the amount that you're going to make, whether it be 5 mil, 10 mil, 15, 30 mil. After you've done all that and all your, all your um, calculations are in, you're going to press calculate in the bottom right. That's going to bring up the box and it's going to load up all the measurements that you need. All right. Now I go by grams, of course, because I use a scale. Now you can use milliliters and that's where you're going to be using your syringes or you can use drops. I highly, highly don't recommend using drops just because each dropper top has different, um, has different tops and, 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 it, and it could be different uh, measurements for each topper such as like this is, um, this is one by Bull City this is how they, they come and then you know you get one from Flavor Art and it's much thinner you know it, it's just a completely different top so you have to realize that you know measuring by drops it's not very consistent, it's not very reliable, it's not very um, accurate. Just use milliliters or, or grams. Now that you got your recipe pulled up, now it's time to start you know, getting your shit ready. You know, start setting up your mixing area. Um, this is where you're going to, you know, you're gonna, you're gonna just pretty much get, gather all what you need. All your VG, your PG, your Nick, your scale, your uh, syringes, your bottle, your recipe that you're gonna put on the side on your computer. Um, your flavorings, all the flavorings that you need, you're just going to gather them all together and you're just going to leave them, it, 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 you're just going to put them in a spot that's going to be easy for you to, to, to use. You don't want to just, you know, have everything all fucking cluttered around and you're grabbing shit off the top and you're moving this around. Just put it all together in one spot. That way it's much easier, you know, to, to it's, it, it's great to be organized. It's safer because you're not going to, you know, have too much of a, of a mess. It's just, just be organized, right? 
Now that you got everything all together, you're ready to mix, you're ready to go, you still need to do one more thing before you actually sit down and start dripping into a bottle, and that is you need to wash your hands. Our hands are fucking filthy, full of shit and boogers and assholes, and you gotta wash them. You don't want nothing in your fucking e-juice that, that's gonna contaminate you know, your final product. Like, like I said, VG really likes to hold on to bacteria and really likes to hold on to like nasty shit. So just make sure you wash your hands if you're not going to use gloves. If you are going to use gloves, wash your fucking hands anyway because you're a fucking dirty bastard. Just wash your goddamn hands and put some gloves on. Honestly, you should be using gloves just because it, it, it's not only is it safer, but it risks you, you know, getting your finger oils into anything. And the oils on your fingers are, is disgusting. It tastes nasty. You don't want that shit in your e-juice, all right? All right, so now we're getting into our mix. We're actually gonna start sitting down and dripping into a bottle. We're doing orange creamsicle. Very linear flavor, very simple, very delicious. Not much to think about with an orange creamsicle bar. When you taste an orange creamsicle bar, you don't get so much of an orange flavor. You get kind of like a candy mandarin flavor. And I know it's kind of, it, it, the name kind of contradicts it, but that's just what it is. It's just a more of a candy, mandarin flavor. So obviously the main star of our juice is going to be Flavor Arts Mandarin. Now Flavor Arts Mandarin is a delicious orange candy type mandarin flavor really. It's just very very true to the name. It meets its description. It's strong enough to hold up against creams and other fruits. It's just a really great addition to your flavoring mix. Now with mandarin, what you need to know with mandarin is, is that it's a little less potent of a flavor art mix. You kind of need to use it at higher percentages just because a mandarin is very overpowered, overpowered by other flavors. You know, it doesn't really take much to overpower mandarin. So you want to have like an orange banana flavor. <clears throat> Ugh, excuse me. So you want to have an orange banana flavor. That banana can really take over that mandarin just because of how rich a banana is and how, um, how uh, tart it is, you know, you really need to use a higher percentage of this rather than, you know, the typical one to two percent. So in this mix, we're going to use it at three percent. Three percent is just enough for it to come through and it's just enough for it to not be too tart on the cream. Now, a lot of people say that this mix needs more orange. So what I recommend is if you like more of an orange you know, of, of an orange creamsicle rather than a more creamy vanilla creamsicle, then bump it up to four, four and a half percent. I wouldn't go any higher than that just because, like I said, this is a flavor art flavor. So if it's too used too, too much, it's going to kind of come out a little harsh. It's going to kind of come out just as you're just going to feel it too much. And you don't want that. You want to taste it. You don't want to really feel it. So Mandarin at three percent, we're going to drip that in our bottle and we're going to put it to the right. You know, we're gonna discard it so we don't have to use it again because that's just how we do things here. The next flavor is just to accentuate the mandarin, give it some more uh, stability, give it some more body, give it some more flavor. And that is very simple, that's flavor arts orange. Now, I'm not a huge fan of this flavor, all right? I really don't think this flavor is very good just because mandarin is so much better as an orange type flavor. Um, this is more of the orange you get from kind of like, um, right, let's, let's give it a little test. See, it has like a weird, like a, you can kind of see the rind in it and it's, it's just too much of a real, of a real flavor, I guess, if that, if that makes any sense. And a, and a real orange flavor, it doesn't really, it, it's hard to mix up with anything, you know? Once you have an orange, it needs to become the star of everything. So we have to use this at a lower percentage just so it doesn't overtake everything. And um, we're going to use this at 1%. This is just going to add some body to the mandarin, let the mandarin stand out a little more, add some body to the creams, and it's really just going to put everything in its place, really. That's what we're using this orange for. To use this as like a main note, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it. I have to recommend mandarin just because of how much better and how much more of a flavor profile you get from the mandarin. Orange is more of just like a backseat kind of deal. Next, we're gonna use, um, you know, one of the flavors that I've used in my last videos. Um, it's a great ice cream flavor. This is, you know, the, the two to one ratio really stands true here with Vienna cream and fresh cream. 
Now these two together make a delicious ice cream style vape. Um, it's not too much ice cream, I shouldn't say that. It's more of, it, more of a start to get to where you want your ice cream. It's kind of just a great ice cream base. Really, you need to add on top of it to really bring out the ice creaminess of the flavor. But what it does add is it does add that nice creamy, milky tones to everything. It kind of starts adding the foundation of the ice cream you're going to build. So we're going to use the Vienna cream at 2% and the fresh cream at 1%. And that way, you know, the fresh, anything, of, anything above 1% for fresh cream, fresh cream starts to come out almost cheesy. It's like a little too much tartness, a little too much butric acid, I guess they're using in there. So 1% is the highest you want to ever use that, and 2% is probably the highest you ever want to use Vienna cream. These two together at the 2 to 1 ratio is a really great start for an ice cream mix. The next flavor we're going to use is Flavor West Vanilla Bean Ice Cream. Look at that label. Fuck yeah, dude. It won't even fucking show on the camera. Look at that. This is from Flavor West. It's not, it's not the Flavor Apprentice. Um, reason being, it's just, I like the sugar content more in the Flavor West flavor. I feel like it's more sugary. And an orange cream skull bar is a very sweet treat. Um, TFA's um, vanilla bean ice cream is delicious, yet it's just not as sugary as I wanted it to be for this mix. Now, you could use it. If you have the Flavor Apprentice's um, uh, vanilla bean ice cream, by all means, use that flavor, the same percentage in this mix. Um, but, I mean, if you don't, and you want to get a vanilla bean ice cream flavor just specifically for this mix, I would get Flavor West. It's really good. When they make a flavor, man, Flavor West can make a flavor right. And this is one of those flavors, and I highly recommend getting it um, if, you don't have, if you don't already have Flavor Apprentice's vanilla bean ice cream. We're going to use this at 2%. Reason being, um, I, I, we just want to add a little bit more ice cream notes to the flavor. This really brings that out. Flavor West flavors sometimes are strong. This is one of those flavors that you don't need too much of it. 2% is the perfect percentage to really add some more ice cream notes, a little more vanilla, a little more of that uh, milkiness, a little more of that sugar. Just dump it in there. 2%, it's great. Last flavor, like I said, this is a quick mix. The last flavor is Flavor Apprentice's Vanilla Swirl. Come on. There we go. Vanilla Swirl. This is our last flavor, Vanilla Swirl. This is just adding vanilla. Uh, we want a little more vanilla than you might, than you might want. I'm adding it at 3%. Um, you can drop it down to 1% to 2% if you really like, if you want more of an orange cream. I like a little vanilla in my orange creamsicles. I really think it helps accentuate the entire mix as a whole. Um, I just love vanilla personally. If you want, you can completely omit this if you don't have it. Um, maybe bump up the vanilla bean ice cream. But other than that, this is just a great addition to it. I'm using it at 3%. I like it a little more vanilla than a lot of people do. Um, you know, I could, you could go anywhere from 0 to 3%. Add to taste, really. Now, I recommend this mix at around 80 VG, 20 PG. Reason being is I like more a little more VG in this. It gives it more of a body, more fuller. It really helps accentuate the flavor of the ice cream a little more as opposed to, you know, a softer or a harder, um, higher v PG kind of mix. Um, the more VG you have, the softer it is on the edges, you know, the more uh, lighter it becomes, and it just kind of fills you up. And it really works well with ice cream vapes. So around 80 VG, 20 PG is a great, great um, place to, to mix this. You can even go max VG if you'd like. Now, don't forget, when you're working with nicotine, before you actually use the nicotine, you need to um, shake the fucking shit out of it. You constantly, constantly have to shake it. Especially with uh, like a VG nicotine like this, it, it, it settles and you can get hot spots. And you, you don't want hot spots, you don't want a juice that's at a higher nicotine content than what you expect it to be. You know, you can make a four and it could turn out to be an 18 if you haven't mixed it the right way. And that's not good, you don't wanna do that, all right? So mix, mix, mix. And when you think you're done mixing, mix it a little more. And then finally, before you use it, just mix it one more time. That should be plenty to mix it. Just mix, mix, mix your nicotine, especially, especially if it's a VG concentrated nicotine. So that's it pretty much for this, for this mix, for this recipe. Uh, there's really not much to it, man. I'm telling you, 
let this sit overnight. It's great as a shaken vape, but let it sit overnight and, and you have yourself a delicious orange creamsicle bar. A lot of people really love this flavor. It's so easy to make. It's so cheap. It's so cheap. It's so cheap to make. And um, it's, it's great for the summertime. Even adding a little culotta to give that more, you know, real ice cream feeling to it. Maybe like a drop or two per 30 milliliter. It's just really perfect for it. It's great summer vape. It's linear. You don't have to think too much about it. It's light on your palate. It's nice with the fucking uh, beer or Corona. You know, it's, it's just a really good summertime vape. And I highly recommend mixing this shit up. So I hope you like this video. Um, like I said, I got... Bunch more videos on the way. I got the newbies video. I'm still editing. I'm still. Uh, it's just taking some time. Um, I got a bunch of other stuff coming that I can't really talk about. Uh, I got more recipes on the way. I know this isn't really a new recipe. I've had this recipe for a while. It's been out there for a while. Uh, I just really wanted to give you guys something real quick, really easy for those who haven't seen it. Please comment in the comment section if you have any questions. You could also email me at diyordivaping at gmail.com. Um, I'm always trying to answer everyone's questions. Just, you know, just shoot me an email and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Uh, you can also follow me at Enyal Rec Law on Reddit. You can follow me at Wayne Walker on Instagram. Um, you can follow me at DIY or Die Vaping on Twitter. That's just all my shit right there. You know, you guys want to follow me and what I'm doing and my recipes and what I'm, what's going on with me. That Those are the places you do it at. <clears throat> I really appreciate all the support I'm getting. Uh, I feel like um, more and more people are getting into DIY and this is great and I have no problem helping you guys out giving you all the recipes that come my way. The best way to get the recipes as they come out is just following me on all my platforms you know. I don't really make a video as soon as I make a recipe. You know a video usually comes out one or two weeks after the recipes are made. This is uh, this this recipe came out almost a month ago so you know, if you follow me on all my shit, you'll get all the shit as, fa as quickly as possible. I hope you guys liked it. Mix this shit up. Um, you know, keep mixing. Stay classy. Peace.